The last tool in worksheet data management is subtotals and grand totals. This is a tool that is meant to work with data that has subsets. Subsets can be thought of as categories. In our case, if we add other two students to our data and have the students be placed in classes, then the classes can be regarded as categories. We can therefore manipulate this data in terms of the categories like classes. On adding our two students, we can have Mary Doe with the scores. We can have another student, Jerry Doe with the scores 70, 80, and 50. To apply the totals for the other two students, we click in the cell with a total and drag from the bottom right corner. This will copy the formula or function from the cell to the other cells. In the same way, we will apply the average for the other two students. We will add another column between names and English by right clicking in the English column and choosing insert where we are going to have our class. We will have two classes with two students each. Our first class shall be East and our second class shall be West. For us to work with this data, we must sort the data according to the column containing the categories. In our case, by having the two students in the same class following each other, our list is already sorted. So the next thing to do is to highlight our data including the column headings, coming to the data tab and clicking subtotal. Again, we have the subtotal dialog box in which we are going to go through a number of settings. At the very top, we have at each change in here, we need to select which column is our category. So for our case, we have class. In the second option, we have the function to be used in manipulating our data. I would like for the spreadsheet, in this case, to give me the average for the class and therefore help us compare the performance of these two classes. So I will use the average function and this function, I want it to be applied on the average column. And so add subtotal two, I will tick average column. Once we do that, we can click OK. Now Excel will add some rows in the data to accommodate the subtotals, in this case, the sub average, and the grand total, in this case, the grand average. So we can see that East had an average of 73.33. That is coming from the average of Jen Doe and John Doe, while West has an average of 68.33 being found by averaging Mary Doe and Jerry Doe. And overall, the two classes have an average of 70.833. Those are five tools you can use to manage data in a spreadsheet.